In this ad for the Mobile One brand, I have 30 seconds to talk about driving, which might be what you're doing right now. Maybe you're in the car, you're free, you're in control, on an open road with an open calendar. Your mind is wandering, and you're going with it. Or maybe you're stuck at work, in meetings, or emails, or worse, meetings about emails. And if that's the case, there's only one question. Why? Mobile One, for the love of driving. Visit loveofdriving.us slash radio to learn more. Follow the marquee and come to the Monday matinee. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Cornucopia Radio presents... Salutations to everybody listening across the new European Empire as we all approach a glorious end to the 19th century. I'm here as your guide to the bluest blues from the bottom of the ocean, straight into the soul of the deep. This next one goes out to all you undersea adventurers, explorers, and lovers of the sea, both human and android. With Me by Jonas Tintenzeer. Tell me again. It's only been a few minutes. Nothing's changed. Go on, tell me. I love it when you talk sailing. It's your submersible. Oh, but I don't know all the specifics. I just bought the thing. That's why I hired you. Fine, fine. Mini Fusion Core is online. Reactor coolant is finishing another cycle. Sonar is active. Depth hovering at 300 meters. Yes. Good, good. What else? Headings look fine. Oxygen at three quarters capacity. Negligible wind speeds. Northwesterly current. No, northeasterly. Current date is November 15th, 1899. Meaning we've been under for approximately four days. <laughs> Oh, I love it! You're mad. You know that, Evie. No, I'm not mad. It's just... You come alive when you're sailing, when you're working. It's a sight to see. Your face lights up like twin moons over the ocean. Well, you're the poet, I suppose. (laughs) Oh, Captain, my Captain. Yes? No, it's a quote. Bit of a short quote. Well, there's more to it. I can't recall the full text. Well, let me know if you do. I'd quite like to hear it. (gasps) What was that? Hmm. Levels are stable. Could be we've encountered something. (gasps) A sea monster? No, not at these depths. Most likely a chunk of ice, perhaps a whale pod, something like that. Whales? Oh, brilliant! Can we go swimming with them? Let me call it in first. See if the Coast Survey has any information on this quadrant. (sighs) More sailing talk. Magnificent. This is Captain Savannah Brunswick of the private submersible vessel Farragut. Come in, Lighthouse. This is Captain Brunswick of the private submersible Farragut. Come in, Lighthouse. We may have had a deep sea encounter in quadrant 42161 and wish to consult the Coast Survey. Savvy, is everything all right? It's fine. Sit down, Evie. I'll handle it. Farragut to Lighthouse. Come in, Lighthouse. We... Actually, Evie, get Howard into the observation chamber, okay? Come on, Lighthouse. Where are you? This is Captain Savannah Brunswick for Farragut. Lighthouse, are you there? 
Lighthouse, do you read me? Savvy? Or what? Oh, yes, Howard. What do we have? Whales? Giant squid? There is nothing visible through the portholes, nor any anomalies on the radar. Whatever it was, it appears to have left. It seems the sea would disagree with your assessment, Howard. How curious. I will return to the viewfinder at once, and... No, I can't hear a lighthouse. You have to help me fix the radio. Of course, Captain. Um, Savvy, is there anything I can do to help? There's not... No, actually, there is. My duffel, under my bunk. Can you get it for me? Of course. How bad is it, Howard? The system does appear to be intact. There might, however, be other interference preventing ship-to-surface communication. And there's nothing you can do? Not unless you wish to go ashore and have me construct a relay beacon from the Farragut's radio. Now is not the time for jokes. I was not joking, Captain. If we salvage the... Fine, fine, enough. Just... Go! Your host, the Admiral. Your guide to the smoothest dunes this side of the maelstrom. I've got your duffel, Savvy. It's a bit rather heavy. Oh, have you got the radio working? This is Captain Savannah Brunswick of the Private Submersible Farragut, in need of assistance. I am transmitting our coordinates. Lighthouse, can you hear me? Savvy, are you... I'm fine. We're going up. Howard, prepare to surface. Evie, hold on to your lunch. Yes, Captain. Oh, dear. It looks like we can't descend. What do you mean? I mean, for the moment, it looks like we're stuck down here. Howard, go and walk about. Make sure we haven't got a hole breached somewhere. Yes, Captain. Bloody Charles, bloody Coast Savvy, bloody Port Authority. Savvy? What is it, Evie? Talk to me. What's going on? It's nothing. Don't tell me it's nothing. It's very clearly not nothing. It's something, Savvy. Be honest. I can't reach Lighthouse. I can't tell what's rocking us. We can't get to the surface, and the only other signal broadcasting within range is a blasted jazz radio station. If the hull's intact, we should be fine to put on the distress beacon and wait for rescue, but... I'm worried. You? Worried? I know. It's not like me. Not like you? (laughs) It's unheard of. Why so frightened? I promised you an adventure. Suppose I'd hate to disappoint. Or lose the Farragut. Lose the Farragut? Is it that bad? I suppose we'll know when Howard finishes his rounds. Look here, Savvy. I hired you for two very, very good reasons. Do you know what they are? Well, I can hazard a guess. Go on, then. Because we've been the best of friends since primary school. That's one of them. Okay. I'm at a loss. What's the other? It's because you're the best damn mariner in all of the Empire. (gasps) Miss Covington! Language! Oh, you know what they say. When a sea, swear like the sailors do. (laughs) Quite right, Madam Covington. I don't know what cowardice could have taken hold of me. I'll have a sorted in time for supper. There's the savannah I know. Good evening, dear listener. I'm your host, the Admiral, and I'm your guide to the sweetest songs in the Western Hemisphere. Next up, an easy piece from way back home. So let's roll on together with this lullaby from the old country. Captain. Howard, report. Good news or bad? Yes. Which? Both. What's the status of the hull? The hull appears to be intact. That'll be the good news then. Yes. All right, out with the bad. Go on. The mini fusion core suffered a coolant system failure and shut down. I expect power to fail fully within four minutes. Well, turn it back on then. I am afraid that is inadvisable, Madam Covington. Inadvisable? The mini fusion core is designed with a fail safe system. Tampering with it during shutdown may result in catastrophic meltdown. Then what do you advise we do do, Serviceman Howard? 
When the core stops completely, the Farragut will be dead in the water. You must use my battery as a reserve power source and repair the core coolant system before manually restarting the reactor. Your battery, Howard? Don't you, uh, need that? My primary directive is to ensure the well-being of my crew and my vessel at any cost. But if we take your battery, won't you be... He's right. It's the only way. Savvy, are you sure? He has the entirety of the Farragut schematics embedded in his memory. If anyone knows what to do, it's him. And anyway, we can put it back later. He'll be fine. Agreed, Captain. I will power down immediately to preserve battery life. You must act quickly in order to minimize wait time. Thank you, Howard. Yes, thank you. I am only doing my duty, Captain. I shall see you both shortly. Shutting down now. Is that it, then? He's gone? Only temporarily. the core done. I'm going to plug in Howard's battery. Savvy. I know. Nothing's happened. It hasn't turned on. I know. What do we do? I... uh... Very well. Put on the distress beacon, Captain. It has an emergency battery of its own, I assume. Right. Sorry. Yes. We're going to be okay, Savvy. You think? We're going to be just fine. Don't you worry. Could just be that the reserve needs some time to start. Could very well be. Do you remember when we were little... About five years old or so, and we used to play at being shipped captains down by the beach. It was a pool. Sorry? It was the neighborhood pool. Nonsense! I most definitely remember a beach. I can see it in my mind. We were 50 miles inland, and it was before the Great Floods. Oh. (laughs) I suppose it was, wasn't it? It's getting cold, Savvy. The power will come back on soon. Oh, I can't. Come on, Evie. Take my coat. Why do you never get married, Evie? Me? I don't mean to be presumptuous. But I know you've had your share of suitors over the years. Did your parents not approve? None of them compared. Compared to what? To whom? To whom? Oh. What's it like at the bottom of the sea, Savvy? Well, it's cold. Colder than now. And it's dark. So very dark. And there are all kinds of wonderful and strange creatures that no one has ever seen before. Do you think we'd be famous for discovering them? Oh yes, exceptionally so. Let's name something after Mr. O'Sullivan then. Mr. Who? Eleventh year, marine biology. Oh, Sullivan. Yes, O'Sullivan. Oh, 
Oh, Evie, no, you mustn't cry. You mustn't worry. Remember? We'll be just fine. You said so yourself. Come now, Evie, I'm here with you. Tell me what I can do. What can I do to help you? We'll never be found down here. Of course we will. Don't lie to me. You're an awful liar, Savvy. What do you want me to do? Just... Just be here with me. I am. I swear, I'll stay right in here. Just be here. Just sink with me, Savvy. Let's just sink down to the sea floor. Together. Farragut, come in, Farragut. This is Lighthouse. A rescue vessel is en route to your location. Don't worry, we're coming for you. Stay safe. You're gonna be okay. been listening to Sync With Me, written by Jonas Tintinser. It featured the voices of Julia Gu as Savannah, Kim Gassell as Evie, Jack Porteous as Howard, Lucas Webley as The Admiral, and Jonathan Lebillion as Lighthouse. The producer and editor was Peter Beeston. This work is released under a Creative Commons agreement. For more information and access to even more amazing audio drama productions, visit us online at cornucopia-radio.co.uk.